Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Royal Rose by Juicy Couture. So this fragrance launched this year, 2017, and is the second installment into their new Regal collection, which launched alongside with Majestic Woods, which I just previously reviewed. This whole collection and lineup is uh, marketed and geared toward the Middle East, and both fragrances, as I said in my previous review, definitely do um, fit the market demographic of the Middle East. They're not a, your normal fragrance that you would find here in the United States. Um, they're definitely exotic, definitely mysterious, and definitely a little bit different from what we normally gain here in the United States. The United States, we're really kind of geared toward our light florals and our light fruity florals, and you'll get your gourmads in there every now and again. But for the most part, we're used to more light or like airy fragrances, uh, things that are more appropriate for office wear and stuff like that, and just socially appropriate. These fragrances I definitely feel like break the rules and that's what I really really love about them is they're not some they're not similar to anything we have out on the market right now and they're definitely their own unique fragrances each. So the Majest or the Royal Rose box looks like this and looks very very similar to the Majestic Woods box. The only difference is you have this kind of pink foil this time versus it being a Gold foil says Royal Rose Juicy Couture Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer 3.4 ounce 100 milliliter. And then it is a soft touch um, matte black box and they are sturdy. Like they are really, really sturdy boxes and I really, really like that about them. You have the gold, uh, like rose goldy pinky foil that goes around the box and then you have that velvet base that the fragrance sits in. The bottle for this one looks like this and the emblem went to the back. And it's very similar to the Royal uh, Majestic Woods bottle, except for this one's kind of a rosy pink. It almost looks kind of silver on camera, but it is a very, very, very much pink. And I wonder if I change this light up here really quick from it being so white, if you guys can notice the difference. I'll run one. See if I can show you guys that. Eh, not really. But anyway, so... Well, I guess it kind of, when I up lights like that, it does. But anyway, so, pink bottle, and it's got a silvery hue to it, which I really like about this one, and it's just a very, very pretty bottle. The uh, pink up here is showing up a lot more bright on camera than it really is. So you have this pale pink uh, rope that goes around the bottle. You've got the Juicy Couture badge there, very similar to what's labeled on the bottle or on the box, and then you have Royal Rose Juicy Couture and that kind of Juicy Couture emblem that we normally get. So, out of the two, this one is definitely my favorite. Um, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more airy, a little bit more springtime than the Majestic Woods fragrance is. Um, but they're both very different and extremely different from anything we have out on the United States market right now, as I previously stated. So, top notes of Royal Rose are Soft Rose de Mai, which is uh, the Centerfolia Rose, which is the Rose of 100, pe 100 Petals, Voluminous Heliotrope, Middle Notes are Dramatic Incense, Silky Suede, with base notes of Sandalwood, Woody Amber, Creamy Musk. So, this one, when you first spray it, you do get that rose. And there's almost, and it might be the suede that I'm smelling, but there's almost a sweetness to this fragrance, almost like there's a little bit of, like, if you've ever had rose cakes, which is a very uh, delicate dessert, they do have um, kind of a rosy scent to them, but then they're kind of like a sweet cake battery scent too. And I don't want to say this smells like cake batter because it definitely doesn't. Uh, I feel like, as I stated in my Majestic Woods review, both of these fragrances are a complete departure from most of the things that Juicy Couture has ever done. You're not going to find similarities to these fragrances in the Vivo Juicy fragrance or anything else that Juicy Couture has done. They're definitely departures and standouts from anything else in their portfolio, which I really, really like. 
Okay, so like I was saying until my camera so rudely overheated, it has a little bit of a sweetness to it, but it's really not anything in comparison to any of the other Juicy Couture's or Vivo Juicy fragrances. As it starts to dry down, though, you get a little bit of that incense, and I feel like the heliotrope is more in the heart. You definitely do get a little bit more of it as the fragrance starts to dry down and that rose starts to kind of, the petals start to fall off of it, if, as you, if you will. Um... But when it starts to dry down, you get a little bit of that woodiness, you get a little bit of the musk and the suede. But ultimately, this is a rose fragrance. It is simply called Royal Rose, and for that fact, it is that. It is very much a royal... You get that regalness, you get the royalness, you get the rosiness. And that's what I really like about this fragrance. It's, it isn't, you know, over-the-top rose. Like, if you hate roses, you may not like this fragrance. But if you're one that likes roses and it is in your favorite flower, you'll like this fragrance. It has enough other stuff going on to back up the rose to make it so it's not going to be a strictly rose fragrance. On the same turn, though, if you love fragrances, I, I could see this being your new signature scent. This one isn't as strong as Majestic Woods, though. So this one, when I sprayed down my wrist, next day woke up. I could still smell it, but it definitely wasn't there after you know, probably 14 hours or so. Um, but still, it's an Eau de Parfum. It still lasts a really long time. Even saying, you know, an Eau de Parfum lasting only 14 hours only is the word that we're looking at there. Like, it is ridiculous how long these fragrances last. And in my opinion, they are definitely worth the little bit of a heftier price tag that's on these. Um, they do run $130 a piece at Dillard's and Sephora. So... I definitely would go smell them in store. I know Sephora, they're online exclusives, but definitely look for them. Um, see where you can smell them at. Here in the United States, at least, I know they're only going to be at Sephora and Dillard's. I'm not quite sure where they'll be at other places. I definitely know, like, their target market is in the Middle East, so they're going to be more readily available there. But I really, 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 really like both these fragrances. And I like that the way that Juicy Couture is going with these, and the fact that, yeah, we still have our people at Juicy Sucre's and those type of fragrances, but they're showing that they're not just the sweet fragrance company. And they can do other fun things that have a little bit more of a darker edge to them, and I really, really like that. The black boxes make these fragrances so sleek and so regal that I just love everything about them. So... Lasting power on this one, like I said, about 14 hours. Definitely, in this, my opinion, this is more the spring-summer version of it. Of the two fragrances, I feel like buy both these fragrances and you have a fragrance, you know, wardrobe for all year long. And they're definitely going to last a while. This is definitely one I feel like, see how it works in your body chemistry. Spray it on you first, you know, do one spray, wrist, 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 you know, to neck. See how that goes. If not, try the cloud of walking through it. Because they're both beautiful fragrances. This one just isn't as strong as the other one. And a little bit more appropriate for daytime, in my opinion. And could be more of an office fragrance if you wanted to pull one of the two off as an office fragrance. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Juicy Couture's Royal Rose. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A That's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. I have more reviews coming up very, very soon. I'm excited to bring to you guys and can't wait to share more information with you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.